Hello guys and welcome to this new video. Today we will be covering the crazy game between Yanni Pomniachi and Ali Zafirouzia from the 2022 Candidates Tournament. And it was a crushing victory from Nepo. So let's start. The game went e4, c5, Sicilian, knight f3, d6. And Nepo went for the open Sicilian with d4, cd4, knight d4. Now knight f6, knight c3. And Ali Reza chose to play the knight orf. And here white tried a lot of moves. f3, f4, h3, bishop to e2, bishop to c4, a3, bishop to e3, and of course the main line bishop to g5. And Nepo here opted for the move f3. Of course he is going to develop the bishop to e3, the queen to d2, long castle, start to play for g4, h4, and start the kingside attack. So Ali Reza went e5, kicking the knight back. And now bishop to e6 controlling the d5 weakness. Bishop to e3 from Nepo, bishop to e7 and queen to d2. Castle short, castle long and knight to d7. And this is a very typical knight of position that has been reached thousands of times. White is going to play g4, g5. And the black is going to go b5, b4, a5 and start a counter attack. And there Nepo of course played g4. Now b5 and g5. And the black here has moves like knight to h5, knight to e8, but the most common one is to simply counterattack the knight on c3. And that's what Ali Reza did before. Now knight to e2 and knight to e8. f4 by Nepo, trying to crash with f5 and f6, if possible. And Ali Reza went a5, allowing Nepo to play f5, but he came prepared with this move, bishop to c4. f5 by Nepo and bishop to c4. And here the top recommended move by the engine is to go knight to g3. And after black exchanges on f1, and it goes a4, the knight goes back to a1. And here white is doing more than okay, but probably Nepo didn't like his knight back on a1. And also Alereza probably have studied this position in advance, and he might have prepared some sneaky ideas. So instead of this, Nepo went king to b1. And he wants to duck his knight back to c1 and play for f6. Now Alereza of course went a4, knight to c1, and d5. And Nepo played f6. G takes on f6, g takes on f6, knight takes on f6, and knight to g3. And here Alireza makes his first mistake of the game, he took on f1. What he should have done instead is to go knight to d6. Sacrificing an exchange, and after bishop to h6, just king to h8. And after the bishop takes, bishop takes, bishop takes on c4, knight takes on c4, queen to e2, and now you go e3. And there, of course, it's still a complicated position, anything can happen, but black has enough activity on the queen side in order to justify being an exchange down. And this is, of course, definitely playable. And here, after bishop takes on f1, rook takes on f1, a3 and b3, of course, you don't want to open up your king for no reason. And now king to h8, and Nepo simply took on d5. And here comes Alir's second mistake. And this time, it's a massive blunder. He went knight to d6, dropping the b4 pawn. Now Alerza went rook to c8, putting maybe some pressure on the c2 pawn, but the position here is uh, just hopeless. Nepo went bishop to b6, hitting the queen, and after queen to d7, queen back to e1, attacking the e5 pawn, and after rook to b8, bishop to a5. Black has managed to create a pin on the b file, but it's not that much effective. Alerza went knight to c4, trying to take advantage of this pin. But simply d6, counterattacking against the black bishop. And of course, black here can take the pawn if he wants, but knight to d3 comes, and the d5 pawn will fall, and the game will be over soon. So instead, here, Alariza went bishop to d8, and now bishop to c3, hitting the e5 pawn again, queen to e6, knight to d3, increasing the pressure, and Alariza went knight to d5. And here, a lot of moves win. You can simply drop back the bishop or check on e5, but Nepo chose to play knight to e4, counterattacking against the black queen, and after the knight takes, rook takes, and the rook of course can't be captured because of this pen against the black king, and now there is a win to f6. And Nepo played queen to e2. The rook still can't be captured because the queen is pinned this time after black played f6, and now there is a played knight to b2, and now rook on d to f1. Indirectly attacking the rook on f8 because the threat now is bishop take, and after queen takes, queen takes, pawn takes, the rook will drop on f8. 
So Alirza here went rook to e8, remove this rook, and now rook to h4, f5 by Alirza, and now the killer blow, rook capture on h7, king capture on rook to h5 check, king to g8, and now knight capture on f5. This is simply a mating attack. There is nothing that black can do to avoid mate. Alirza played bishop to f6, and after rook to g1, Alirza simply stopped the clock and resigned the game. Simply because there is nothing to do, there is actually mating 4. After king to f8, white goes queen to h6 check, and after king to f7, rook to g7 check. Now if the bishop takes, this is simply mate, and if the king goes back to f8, rook to h8 check, and after the queen blocks, this is again mate. Well, it was a great game from Nepo, very nicely played, and he simply deserves this win. Okay guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and put your comments down below if you'd like to see any games in particular, or any opening theory videos. Again, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.